let's solve this viral integral problem now uh, this uh, you must have seen if you have gone through the problems of integration so this uh, problem you must have come across so there are almost a quarter dozen method to solve this question i will deal with one method in this video if you want i can discuss with other methods too but let's concentrate on one method at a time so how uh, will i solve this question so let's do one thing uh, i am doing one thing that uh, i am taking under root tan x common so if i do so i will get uh, because the first term is root cortex it doesn't had have any root tan x in it so if uh, some term doesn't have term which you have taken common then simply do one thing divide by that term so root cot x divided by the term it did uh, didn't have so divided by root tan x and you took root tan x common so one here now simply do one thing uh, cot x is cos by sin so simply you can write this as root of cos x by root of sin x in denominator you have root of tan x that is root sin x by root cos x so you will get cos x by sin x which is cot x so this term gives you cot x now because root is in tan x so we'll have to take any substitution in tan x that will be better and one thing is uh, very very known to you that if a term is inside a root it is better to take that as t square so if i take tan x as t square i know the derivative of tan x is secant square x dx will be equal to 2t dt now i want everything is in terms of t so dx equals to secant square x is 1 plus tan square x okay so this is 2t dt divided by secant square is 1 plus tan square x but tan tan x is itself t square so t square whole square that is t power 1 plus tan square x but tan i have assumed as t square so 1 plus t power 4 now coming back to my integral so root tan x will be root of t square that is t this cot x cot x is 1 by tan x so 1 by t square plus 1 uh, dx will be 2t dt divided by 1 plus t power 4 now let's simplify this so t is here uh, 1 plus t square divided by t square uh, i have a 2t and a dt here and i also have 1 plus t power 4 now as you can see this t will take away one power and another power will be lost by this t so this t square is gone so i will be left with integral of if i take 2 out i will be left with 1 plus t square divided by 1 plus t power 4 d now whenever you come across this on practice you will uh, realize that it is always better to divide each term in uh, numerator and denominator by t square so once you do so 1 by t square plus 1 divided by 1 uh, by t square plus t square now let's uh, leave numerator for a minute 1 plus 1 upon t square coming back to denominator so is it same as t 
माइनस वन बाई टी होल स्क्वायर सो दिस विल गिव मी टी स्क्वायर प्लस वन अपॉन टी स्क्वायर माइनस टू विल कम ओके सो टू बैलेंस दैट आई एम जस्ट एडिंग अ प्लस टू so if i open this i will get t square plus 1 upon t square minus 2 i have added a plus 2 so that will ultimately give me t square plus 1 upon t square now what has happened that if you look at this clearly so if i take t minus 1 by t so if i take t minus 1 by t as some other variable let's say y so if i differentiate this so derivative of t is One, one by x derivative came out to be minus one by x square. So one by t derivative will be minus one by t square. One minus is already there. So one by t square simply dt equals to dy. So my integral will now become two is already outside. This one plus one by t square dt. dt is also here i can replace that simply by dy in denominator t minus 1 by t is my y so i will get y square plus 2 i can write as root 2 whole square now everything is now in terms of y okay you remember that formula dx divided by x square plus a square that came out to be 1 by a tan inverse x by a Use the same formula in terms of y. So two into one by a. A here is root two tan inverse x by a. Here we have y. So y by a here is root two. Now plus c is always there. Two by root two will give you root two simply tan inverse. What is your y? Y is t minus one by t. Divided by root two, that's a constant. Keep uh, back substituting the variables. Tan inverse. This is t square minus one divided by root two t. Now t is also our supposed variable. What was t? Root tan x, because tan x is t squared, so t will be root tan x. So root two tan inverse. Uh, t square tan x was t square so here we have no problem tan x minus one by root two now t square was tan x so t will be root tan x last thing I want to do is root two into root tan x so I want to write it in a beautiful way so tan inverse Tan x minus one divided by under root two tan x plus a constant. So I hope you learned something from this video. This was just a method. Uh, if you didn't, if you like this uh, a bit lengthy, we'll come to another method also in a couple of videos. But concentrate here. You need to have understanding of each and every step. so first i took root tan x out so inside i got cot x plus 1 i showed you how we got cot x plus 1 then came the time to take substitution so we took tan x as t square because it was inside root we simplified the terms then came the most important step to take t minus 1 by t as some other variable that was y Then we simplified. We use the formula of integral dx divided by x square plus a square, which is one by a tan inverse x by a, and then we back substitute. So ultimately, this was easy only. Uh, only two step I think was most important to take tan root tan x out, and here uh, to make this into this format so that you can take t minus one by t as some other variable. So I hope you understood something from this problem. hope you see hope i see you with method 2 for the same problem thanks and have a very nice day